I'm fed up of doing these disclaimers, so I'm just going to do it in the Scottish. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my Scottish lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you the Scots tongue. And if you follow me, you'll be able to speak and understand Scottish. Let's begin with some Scottish isms. Now, I don't think that people in Scotland say this every day. A Scottishism is a phrase that brings to life the Scottish, the Scottish dialect, but people don't say it. Here we go. It's a bro bricked moon licked nicked. Can you say that with me this time? It's a bro bricked moon licked nicked. And the second one here, there's a moose loose about this house. Say it with me. There's a moose loose about this house. Okay, so in Scotland, we have, we speak the same language, which is English. But up in Scotland, we could say they have their own dialect where they have some different words that we don't use in English down, English, English down in England. So if you ever went to Scotland and you hadn't been there before, at first you might find the accent hard to understand and there might be a lot of vocabulary that you've never heard before. So let's have a look at some common Scottish words in the Scottish dialect. We'll start with the words for people. We call Scottish people Scots. He's a Scot. Or if there's more than one, they're Scots. And we describe things that are Scottish as Scots. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Scots hat today for my lesson to teach you. The Scots call the English Sassanach. I'm a Sassanach, trying to speak Scottish in my lesson today. In Scotland, a way you can say boy or girl, or perhaps more like lady and man, young, you say lassie or laddie. Lassie is for a woman and laddie is for a man. Lassie, laddie. A mon is a man. A bairn is a child. And something to point out here, in Scottish, they roll their R's and I cannot do that because I'm from the South. I wish I could do it. So a Scottish R is, if you can do it, do it for me. R can't do it. So when a Scottish person says the letter R, we really hear it and it stands out in the word. We also, in Scotland, for a little child or a, a little one, they would say wean. Oh, what a dear wean. We means little and the un means one here. Wean. The words for mother, there are two, two words you can use. You can say more, more or mither, mither. And for dad, you say da, granda is granddad and nana is grandmother. So let's look now at the common Scottish words starting with nor for no, ay, 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 oot, get oot, get oot, no, no, now, old, he's an old man, he's an old man, hen, hen, hen means something like dear or love, it's a term of it's a term of endearment, so you can say that to someone that you're familiar with, but it really depends on the tone of voice that you're using. Sometimes when a Scottish person says the words heen, son or pal, they can be very angry with you. So if you say um, 
pal, stop messing around. That means you're not happy. My tone of voice is angry. So even though I'm saying friend, I'm not friendly. So depending on the tone, it's either very warm to the person or it's because you're angry. Next, we have Scottish adjectives. In Scotland, they say that things are bonny. Oh, what a bonny wean. Bonny means beautiful. Canny means smart. He's a canny mon. Next, we've got some uh, slang Scottish words. Raging, he was absolutely raging. Angry, very angry. Pushed, absolutely pushed. He was drinking all night. Pushed. And jammy. Jammy means a lucky person. Not necessarily in a positive way, like, oh, they're so lucky. It's somebody who they, they do things that are perhaps not always honest and they get good luck or they always get away with it. So another way, uh, jammy often comes along with jammy bastard. So, but you would say it kind of laughing about the thing that that person got away with. Looking now at the weather words, do you know up in Scotland, the weather, it's always raining and it's cold. So they have lots of weather words. And these words are in the Scottish dialect. These words are not generally known in England or used in England. And if you think about it, it's because we have different weather in England. It doesn't rain quite as much and it's not as cold as it is up in Scotland. So in Scotland they say chankin. It was it was chankin. Today was absolutely chankin. Freezing. It was freezing cold today. Nu we have Drake. Drake means miserable weather. One of those grey Scottish days where it's constantly raining a little bit, there's some drizzle going on, you haven't seen the sun in a long time. That kind of day is dreek. Druket means very wet. So similar meaning there. Flaggy, a wee flaggy. Flaggy means snowflake. And the most bonny Scottish word of them all is water gore, water gore means incomplete rainbow. So this could be when the weather keeps stopping and starting raining and there's just one small patch of rainbow there to see. Now let's look at the Scottish insults. All of these insults we can consider as slang. Slang words tend to change quite a lot and quite fast. And slang words mainly insult people. So these are, these are common ways to insult a person up in Scotland. First one being ball bag, which means ball bag, testicles. You can call someone a Jesse. He's a Jesse. It means he's very weak. A bumpot. He's a bumpot. Crazy. Watch out, he's a bumper. Someone who's a jakey, he's always drinking, drinking every day of his life. A dunderhead, dunderhead is an idiot. And a besom, she's a besom, is a cheeky woman. Besom comes from the word for broomstick. So in older times, if you called someone a bez, a Beism, it would be like calling them a witch, but the way that the word is used now is a feisty kind of woman. It's not, depending on how it's used and the, the tone and the phrase that you're using it in, besom could be good or bad when you use it to describe a woman. Next, we've got Scottish phrases. Oh, I'm such a bumper. I forgot to tell you what minga means. Minga means an ugly person. That word is also used in English slang, though because slang moves very quickly, I don't hear it said so often as it used to be said, but originally Minga comes from Scottish. Okay, now 
we have some Scottish phrases for you. We'll start with Fusia Dus. Fusia Dus. This means how are you? And it's in the Aberdeen Doric dialect. Aberdeen's right at the north of Scotland. So I think they have, from my ears, they have the strongest Scottish accent and a lot of words and expressions that aren't necessarily understood even within Scotland by everyone. So English people have an even harder time to understand these kind of phrases. Fizia Diz, how are you? And the reply is, okay, pekin. That means, it doesn't really make sense what it means. It means, oh yes, pecking, pecking like a bird. But it means something like, I'm fine, I'm good. And yes, it does literally mean I'm pecking like a bird. I rate. I rate depends on the tone. If you don't believe what someone has told you and they've told, they've told you some tall tale and you don't believe them, you can say, I rate. But if you say in a different intonation, this could be agreeing with someone like, Hey, right, right you are. Next one is, you're off your head, mon. You're crazy. I don't ken. I don't ken, mon. These three, let's call them Scottish, Scottishisms and say they're kind of train spotter Scottishisms, if you've ever heard of that film. A very famous film from, I think it was uh, the 90s, late 90s, where um, a lot of the dialect in that, in that film became famous for being Scottish. So I don't know how, how widely these kind of phrases are said in our times today, but these last phrases here are more contemporary Scottish slang, which you've probably never heard before. So you can say, your bum's out the window. And that one means you're talking nonsense. Your bum's out the window. Or this one, don't be a wee clape. Don't be a wee clape. Don't be a telltale. Stop making things up. Perhaps this one would be said to children. Don't be a wee clape. And the last one we've got, who do you wished? Who do you wished? Keep quiet. And who do you wished? Wished, we, wished means mouth. So this means like hold your mouth. Means keep quiet. So, I'm a Sassanach. I did my best in the Scottish lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it very much and I hope also you'll go to Scotland one day and see the real thing. And now for you to do the quiz on this lesson. Goodbye everyone, I'll see you again soon.